In recent years, former national players have made contributions in the various national teams, most notably in Bafana Bafana and Banyana Banyana setups. They bring with them the experience from their playing days. In instances where they become assistant coaches to a foreign coach, they are privileged to gain even more knowledge that augurs well for the national teams. Banyana Banyana coach Deirdre Ellis is a perfect example. She took over from Vera Power in 2016 after being assistant coach for many years, and she has since put together a team that has become a powerhouse in the region and on the Continent. I think now we're getting in a way that we know that uh, you know there's ex-footballers like Hellman, you know who's been in the game, who's contributed in the game, and he can be uh, 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 brought into the structures of our football in this country. And I think that will actually uh, uh, encourage uh, some of the uh, of the footballers, you know, ex-players to you know to to, to start thinking about our own football and getting involved and contributing positively. However, the success of national teams does not only depend on former players. The development of local coaches also needs to be looked at. Khatebe, who was part of a coaching course in Middleburg in Bumalanga, says it's critical to understand the roles of these coaches. Safa has been rolling out more de-licensed coaching workshops. Although these are elementary courses, they play an important role in the bigger picture. In our association, you know, we do need People that actually can take their football forward, you know, knowing, you know, where uh, the players, knowing uh, uh, the country, knowing, you know, uh, uh, the, the culture and the tradition of our football, and then we can tap into those guys. More women have begun empowering themselves by attaining their coaching badges, proving that the women's game is gaining strength. Women football is, is getting better every time, and to see, you know, young ladies, you know, being involved in these courses like this, has, it's very, very encouraging. And obviously, we're looking at the future of the sport. It has been argued that grassroots development has long been in existence, but not taken care of. That is now changing. If you look at the vision 2022, it uh, say we must uh, capacitate and train more coaches, so that uh, the more you have more coaches the better because uh, it means the quality of players that are going to come out of the structures is going to be a better quality. Until Bafana Bafana, together with the other national teams, excel on the continent and on the global stage, all tools to improve the state of affairs will be welcomed and perhaps it's about giving it a bit more time before the narrative changes. Lebang Tube, SBC News, Middleburg.